Prey, 2022, Movie Analysis It's captivating the amount Trachtenberg and screenwriter Patrick Alston figure out how to dig into and develop both the Comanche nation and the personality of Naru. This guarantees a phenomenal portrayal of the Comanche nation, yet the mystery ingredient in Trachtenberg and Alston's story is the manner by which the story is basically Naru's story about growing up or developing as a Comanche tracker and clan boss. By following her as she gets it and attempts to sort out why the creatures are, as it were, getting upset due to the presence of a secretive dominant hunter, we see her fostering her instruments and sorting out her territory and its inherent provincial injustice, the sand trap. It is in sharp differentiation to the actual hunter, who we see following, attempting to sort out the creatures and how to catch and chase them. From one perspective, it is a story about growing up for the youthful Naru, then again, it is a totally out of place situation for the actual predator, as it is sorting out its territory and its prey in the actual world. For Naru and the remainder of the clan, things become a bit muddled when French voyageurs catch her while she is attempting to get away in the wake of having seen the predator interestingly. In the wake of catching her, they request their interpreter, Raphael and Alini, to persuade her to help them. At the point when she declines, they tie her and her caught sibling Tabe as trap for the predator. The part of the film which struck me this is the way these characters are regarding this animal as any unseen creature in nature. It reaffirms the explanation that this film would have worked in the event that you supplanted the predator with some other typical earth-based animal as a delegate of the opposing part of mother nature. It actually would have functioned as a period western managing the impacts of expansionism and its infringement over lands not yet impacted and unvarnished, as surmised by the cleaning of the buffalo off of their pelts and leaving the whole group. Yet, the predator's appearance simply improves these perspectives, putting the voyageurs on the back foot. Their dependence on their cutting-edge weapons fizzling against the undeniably further developed weaponry and the upgraded strength and savagery befitting that of the predator, it eventually comes down to Naru with her insight into her general surroundings and her resourcefulness in battling the predator. Trachtenberg's pacing of the story is spot on. Not failing to focus on the transitioning part of the story, he additionally figures out how to sort through the world with its foliage and plant life, supported by Jeff Cutter's phenomenal cinematography, 
His liberal usage of wide shots figures out how to both include and show the size of the open regions and furthermore figures out how to affect the watcher with the outlining of the shots as the vicious demonstrations happen. Trachtenberg likewise uses the stunt of zeroing in on a secluded casing for a couple of moments longer to improve the sensation of fear and question whether the predator is stowing away. Regardless of the way that the imperceptibility gadget used by the predator has a sparkling impact that the watchers can recognize. The uncover of the predator is the most serious analysis that could be evened out. Trachtenberg decides to show the predator to the crowd in the principal act itself, rather than leaving the crowd alone in obscurity alongside Naru and different clans as they at last figure out how to go over the predator, and the actual predator is uncovered after its imperceptibility gadget is harmed by a wanderer bolt. The catching of the uncover through the low point takes would have functioned admirably as the underlying uncover of the predator in his full magnificence. Sarah Shackner's score is non-meddling, figuring out how to bring out the climate and soundscape of the climate possibly kicking in when the fights with the Predator get going. And thank you guys hopefully enjoying the video hit the like button and the subscribe button see you again.